Reaction tonight to One Valley School District closer to getting kids back in the classroom. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia is live tonight from Carter Elementary School in Palm Desert. And Jake, the county approving DSUSD to move forward. Yeah, Karen, good evening. It's been almost exactly a year since schools here in Riverside County closed due to the pandemic. And now Desert Sands Unified, the only district in the valley with the green light to bring back elementary school kids. But even with a safety plan in place, some parents are still concerned about the risks involved. Just being away from mom and dad for a little bit and being with their peers is going to be uh, great for them. Like most other Coachella Valley parents, Kate Silvera has had her two young sons home for distance learning since the pandemic started. Her district, Desert Sands Unified, was approved by the county Tuesday for reopening elementary schools, grades TK through 5. Silvera is sending her kids back to the classroom, but not without some trepidation. I know my kids are going to be excited for it, um, so I'm excited for them, uh, but we'll see what happens. DSUSD's COVID-19 safety plan got the green light from Riverside County. It includes precautions parents and teachers fought for, like social distancing, mandatory masks, plexiglass partitions, and new air filtration systems. We were involved in uh, helping to develop that safety plan. President of the Desert Sands Teachers Association, Trina gonzalez Alisi says the plan is plenty to keep everyone safe, but it will depend on enforcement. There's kind of a full spectrum out there of what is enforced and what isn't enforced, and that's going to play a big role in whether or not staff feel safe. And while some parents are ready to get their kids back on campus, there are still concerns that the amount of face to face instructions kids will be receiving will be less than what they were getting while studying from home. The district's hybrid learning model amounts to two six hour days per week in person and the rest independent. That's less than the 20 hours per week students had with their teachers on Zoom. Anyone with a seven or 10 year old will let you know that asynchronous or independent learning is a challenge. A year later and a new obstacle students will have to overcome. And there are still some hoops to jump for, jump through before the district can bring students back on campus. DSUSD's COVID-19 safety plan still needs to be approved by the state, and the board is expected to discuss what day kids can return to class at their March 2nd meeting. Meantime, a vaccine clinic for DSUSD teachers is gearing up to be held at La Quinta High School. They're just waiting on those doses, which they don't know when will arrive. We're live tonight in Palm Desert, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.